like Charles. Charles looks like a name for a guy with like a, like a solid beard. Oh right, 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 yeah. yeah. James seems to really work, work for DMX. So, I, and I always get you guys confused. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just the names. Just the names. I know each one is. I know who T3 Dome is. Of course, he's able to win his last round. Of course, YMCA usually rocking the DK, but today changing things up to Wario. Yeah, and I was just explaining that um, the uh, Belmonts do so like I, I think the oh man, wow, ping pong and back and forth. I think the Belmonts do really well against uh, these bigger, heavier characters. Yeah. So um, not too surprised to see YMC at least trying out the Wario over the uh, Donkey Kong. He's probably has fought T3 Dome before with the Donkey Kong. It probably didn't uh, end up too well for him. I feel like they have T3 Domes uh, from, of course, like in the season attack UCI. But I, have, I think I have seen these two play before a couple times at collegiate tournaments. Here is the axe to cover, make sure he's going to go low. Right, uh, getting this up, so okay, up tilt to the up airs here. Get the commitment out of the shield there. T T3 dome, gotta be careful. Oh no, only the first hit of down air. I'm sorry, only this down air. I think it looked like down tilt, but I wasn't sure. Right, right. Maybe, probably just an input error. Okay, getting back, but right now the off stage pressure. Oh, he tries to go for the down air, but doesn't nail it. And it you don't normal get up into the light, guys. Don't <laughs> don't do it. You I know the holy water looks very pretty. <laughs> but, but don't normal get up into it. Make sure you walk away from it, too. Give yourself some space, because that's, that's your opportunity. If he's going for holy water, you know he's going to be throwing axe. He's going to be throwing cross. Keep calm, right? And then choose an option properly. You have time. If the axe hits you, like I mentioned, it won't kill you to 150, 160 plus. So depending on your character and weight, like, watch yourself. And there's the trusty down tilt into the dash stack here for YMCA, one of... Uh, one of Wario's very reliable kill confirms, especially at those later percents. Oh, that was big. He almost caught him there. Okay, the axe jumping right over. But right now, I mean, he, he's jumping over a lot of these projectiles, but T3 Dome is already there with the uh, Oh, Ooh, wow, he almost got, dang, he definitely could have walked confirmed. Yeah, he would. He, that really would have hurt T3 Dome there. But like you mentioned earlier, Ryan, let me finish your thought there. Every time he has a projectile, he has the coverage. He yeah. knows fine. He want, you want to jump over act? I have up to I have up air. Right. I have every move checked out just in case. Up throw ends up air here for YMCA. Trying to get some damage on. But this, I mean, for Wario, this is not that big of a deficit. I'm very surprised we didn't see the up tilt waft there. Um, exactly. At these mid percentages, definitely uh, a confirmed, I mean, probably the best confirmed in the waft is up tilt as well. Oh, so much damage, oh, and already T3 Dome looking like he's ready to take this stock. Axe, one more time. Here's the Holy Water space a little bit differently, so you can go for a neutral get up there. You will be fine. But at that point, you want to make sure you watch stuff when you go for neutral get up, because forward smash can extend past the end. All right. Oh, no tech. But looking at tech, I wasn't really sure I couldn't tell a flash there. Yeah, after that directional air dodge, I, I don't even think he could have made it back regardless, no. right? Like, yeah, so right there, YMCA felt like he had to, like, finish the stock off. Ended up missing, and the return of the uh, the jump fair, and uh, YMCA missing that tech. T3 Dome is going to take that for game number one. I feel like as we continue our journey through the, <laughs> the, life, the life of a Belmont main, Right, right. It, it is a matchup spread that seems to be pretty solid. You do really well against heavies. You got to think of that OMR matchup probably down. But not only that matchup obscurity, it's a character that not a lot of people are used to seeing. Right, sure. right. Yeah, definitely not a common character. Not a lot of people uh, main this character. So you definitely have that on your side as well. Right, it looks like YMCA getting right to business here, coming in with that neutral air, comboing it into the up air as well, and definitely Wario known for his combos out of there. Setting up the bike here. Ooh, there's the parry, but yeah, I mean, there's just some moves that even if you parry it, the, the range is so long, you can't really like come in and get a perfect punish. It's more so just like you get a better positioning for the next interaction kind of thing. Oh wow, the parry on the holy water as well, making it so his uh, both players can get hit by it. Back throw here, set up across yet again. It's good for him to set up cross there, but I've seen some red remains like to cross away. So their opponent does come back, it's late and the opponent miscalculates it or misjudges it. So it's pretty good to do either one. Yeah, it just depends on like what when you want it to cross over. Mm -hmm. Right now, YMCA is getting pelted by all these projectiles. 
trying to get through. There's the jump over the holy water there. But you got to be careful. Sometimes they'll position the holy water like right next to the ledge, and <laughs> it can even catch ledge jump, which yeah. is so scary. And it's good that we even saw TD Doom kind of space himself the minute he saw Wario jump. He's like, hold up, let me catch the landing. Let me give him a little bit of space to breathe. Right. But I only want him to come to me. All right, so YMC going to seal out that first lock with the up smash there. And T3 Dome going right back to it. Oh, but waiting out everything, not getting caught up by the Holy Water. Now YMC attacking on this damage. Okay, there's the up. Oh, wow, almost gets the tech chase there. Pretty, uh, pretty confident forward smash there. But YMC is just going to jump over. And I, I like how he jumps over, but in that particular interaction, he didn't really like force himself down on him. Just kind of like reposition, waited, reposition, oh. waited. Here's a parry. Moves in, looking like YMCA finally finding everything here. And of course, let's think about the Belmonts they suffer. When they're at the deficit, it doesn't seem to be really in their favor. And they suffer greatly. There's the up, up air into the waft. It will take that. Yep, you got to watch the waft setups right there. And especially around that two minute mark, that's where it can get really tough. Yeah. Falling up air, these up tilts. But speaking of up air, T3 Dome got his up air on deck there and gonna steal out that first stock, but still a, stock, a whole stock behind uh, on this game number two. I feel like now that we have a different meta for the, the entire game, that's what kind of allowed Warrior to move from his previous tier to now a little bit higher, like high tier, I believe. And it's basically because now there's more time, eight minutes, and you got three stocks to work with. Right? Yeah. So every two minutes, if you haven't used the wall confirm, you still have another chance to get walked versus Smash 04, right, where you only have like six minutes, two stocks. By the time you lose your stock, you don't have enough time for WAP. You essentially had one WAP. Yeah, you only had one WAP the game. Oh, man, and right now, I mean, honestly, YMC has not tacked on that much damage, only 54% here. Oh. And uh, T3 Dome, if he's able to wipe out this stock fairly soon, it's uh, not going to look that big of an advantage here for YMCA. Yeah. Holy Water. I'm surprised he didn't go for Holy Water. It took a little too much time with the Axe. I respect it, though. Like, you want to make sure that's a threat that's out there. But you want to make sure you cover his options to feel like he's cornered and pressured properly. Okay, YMC is still attacking on a little bit more damage. And honestly, he's surviving very, very long here. Wario is very heavy. 177% on this man. Axe will kill now at this percent. And he immediately catches him, jumping from the ledge. Good forcing option. Up okay. tilt, up air. I don't see a waft ready. You usually see Waff when it's ready, when you see that little yellow blink on Wario. Yeah, it should be online soon. Should be like three minutes, like 50 something. Should be online. Oh. Oh. oh, he tried to use the half Waff there. <laughs> Premature detonation there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, confirm? No, the water actually sank a little low and actually hit him, so he wasn't able to get that confirmed. It was looking like spaghetti for a second, too. Oh, like, oh, man, he's getting axed up right now. So much damage, and just like that, off of one particular oh. <laughs> situation, T3 Dome almost takes it. Oh, up air? No, 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 no. Okay, that was close to it. He had him. He has him where he wants him. Watch. Okay, it's finally back on stage. Oh, well, wait! Okay. Oh, why'd you roll? Why did yeah, you? Yeah, he, he didn't believe. Yeah, he, he didn't did. believe in that down tilt. The down tilt dash that could have definitely done it here. Oh, there's the parry. He tries to get the down tilt dash attack. Oh, watch the shield, man. You feel he got the pressure there. He's open. I feel like YMC here is trying to. Oh no! Nah. No, he's no, good. Okay, he's good. He's trying to parry these attacks. Is. The fourth throw is gonna be it. Oh, even yeah. on Wario. Wow. That was good because at that point, he was so conditioned to pretty much getting hit by the actual holy water. Right. That this time when he changed it up, he was not ready at all. So wow. really, really good stuff to T3 Dome mixing, making sure things a little bit differently. I'm gonna hand it over to Arcaster because he definitely want to get on the mic today. I know Shine is his boy, so definitely tell you a little bit about Shine. Cool, uh, cool. Charles, yeah. a pleasure. I'll probably get back on in a minute. We'll see how things go. Sure thing, buddy. I hope I don't.